Dear Google leakers, like seriously, what took you so long? Because yes, the floodgates have opened as we get some new leaks of the upcoming Pixel 5a, which is kind of familiar, sort of. Some new and credible leaks of the future MacBook Pro hint to Apple finally waking up and smelling the coffee. And speaking of Apple leaks, some new schematics show us what the AirPods 3 could probably look like. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I know that some of you don't like leaks so much, but seriously, like, what else does this industry run on? This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals, starting with Samsung. The Galaxy S21 series is currently $200 off on Amazon. Yeah, the new phones that were just launched. That means you get the Galaxy S21 Plus for $799 or the S21 Ultra for $999. If you're looking for more Samsung deals and have a device for trade-in, we still have those trade-in deals available for the S21 Ultra, like leaving that for like $400. And I'll, listen, I'll just leave the links in the description. Moving on to laptops, the 16-inch MacBook Pro is currently $350 off on Amazon, meaning it starts at $2450, but I'd recommend you stick around before you pull that trigger because we've got some news of what's coming next. Now, if you're a Windows guy, the Razer Blade Stealth 13 is currently $400 off, meaning it starts at $1,300, which is a pretty good deal. Best Buy also has the Surface Laptop 3 for $400 off, leaving it at $900. And we have more deals on LG TVs, Amazon Fire TV products, other Samsung smartphones, and more in the description. Let's move on to Huawei as uh, we've been expecting the Mate X2 for quite some time now. And it's finally out and yes, it looks like the Galaxy Z Fold 2, but uh, that's actually a different story. It features a new inward folding design with an eight inch main OLED display running at 90 Hertz refresh rate. On the cover, you're getting a 6.45 inch display running at 90 Hertz as well. This phone is powered by the Kirin 9000 SoC along with eight gigs of RAM and up to 512 gigs of internal storage. Now when it comes to the camera, you get a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 16 megapixel ultra wide, a 12 megapixel telephoto and three X optical zoom is being provided uh, along with an eight megapixel super zoom camera that supports 10x optical zoom. Of course, you get your typical set of features like pro modes, tracking shots, high res, and other modes. And on the phone, you have a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, 55 watt fast charging, and yes, it is sadly exclusive to China and it doesn't have Google services. The thing is, the reason why it's different is because if you do the math, it costs the crazy $2,775. Yeah, pretty much MacBook Pro territory. I wonder how that's going to go. And since we already started, let's talk about Cupertino and their upcoming March event as we get closer. I mean, last week we covered how we could be getting new iPad Pros, AirTags, maybe an iPad Mini, and maybe some new AirPods. Over the weekend, John Prosser made a video on the products his sources have told them we're getting. And it includes iPad Pros, AirTags, and a new Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pro. However, he didn't rule out the fact that we could be getting more things. He just wasn't aware at the time time. And well, going back to those AirPods, we have some new leak schematics showing off the new design. As the previous leaks claim, these are taking the design cues from the current AirPods Pro, which is very welcome. Now they're different. I mean, they bring back the pressure sensitive touch area and the pressure relief vents at the top as well. They're also expected to support spatial audio, but active noise cancellation and transparency mode apparently won't make the cut. Uh, that's gonna separate them from the pros, but the price tag is apparently going to be around 150 bucks. And this leak also claims that they will debut in March. Uh, so I guess we're also going to see that at the event. Now, hold on, sticking to Apple for another segment, let's talk about MacBook Pros. And I actually had to read this report twice because it sounds just too good to be true, but bear with me. See, MacBook Pros have historically been criticized for repeatedly killing ports that pros actually use. But just like we've seen with the iPhone, seriously, it's as if Apple finally is listening. According to a new report from none other than Minshi Kuo, Cupertino plans to release two new MacBook Pro models that, uh, hear this, come equipped with HDMI in addition to an SD card reader. 
like seriously, a full throwback to the 2012 model, and I really hope that I'm reading this right. Now, Quo mentions that we should expect these two new MacBook Pro models in the second half of 2021 that will have significant design and specification changes. Of course, the SD card reader was rumored last month, but this is actually the first time that we're hearing about a dedicated HDMI port. Now we wonder what spec it's gonna bring. So we're expecting two new devices, 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pro variants, both powered by Apple Silicon. These are also tipped to feature brighter, higher contrast panels, probably thanks to the new mini LED panels, and MagSafe could be making a return to laptops as well, which could apparently bring faster charging. Now we don't know know exactly how much they plan to scale back on USB-C ports, but I feel like four USB-C ports along with these uh, new leaked ones pretty much make it reasonable for how much Apple prices these laptops for, and also for the audacity of calling them pros. Now, yes, it's finally time. I, we have this running joke with Diego about the fact that it's been way too long since we've gotten Pixel leaks. And well, they're finally here, though I'm not exactly sure how excited we should be. We have some new renders from on leaks that apparently belong to the Pixel 5a, and with typical Pixel fashion, there's really nothing left for the imagination. As yes, it brings pretty much the exact same design as the Pixel 4a, sort of. I mean, according to the leaks, this is a 6.2 inch OLED display at full HD plus resolution, but it's still unclear if Google is going to stick to 60 hertz or bring 90 hertz refresh rate. And at the back, the little stove is making a return, but this time we're getting a dual camera module, like finally. In typical Google fashion, we should expect the same hardware that we get with the Pixel 5 with the 12 megapixel main sensor and a 16 megapixel ultra wide though. Now from the leaks, you can see that we're getting the same punch hole, same fingerprint scanner at the back, and the headphone jack is still here, that's great. Now, apparently, we should expect the Pixel 5a to come out around August this year, maybe with Android 12, as uh, that's when we should expect the stable build. So, yeah, it seems that we will be getting a smaller Pixel 4a 5G in every way, if you think about it, unless Google plans on fixing something under the hood. I mean, it's not like the company is famous for doing that though. But anyways, let us know in today's question, what do you think about these Pixel 5a leaks? Cause uh, I don't know, I guess I'm underwhelmed, like two years of the same design, or I don't know if they're gonna experiment with new materials or what, I don't know, that's just me. Unless they make that price tag crazy compelling, I'm just not gonna be too happy about it. That being said, I love the Pixel 4a. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me uh, want more leaks because I, I like them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.